Tonight, forecasters say California is likely headed into a fourth straight year of drought, and that has profound implications for the entire nation, which depends on crops grown in the Golden State. With our weekend journal, here's Elizabeth Cook from CBS station KPIX. This is not what a tomato is supposed to look like. But for a lot of farmers in the Central Valley, this is exactly what they're seeing. Scorched, flattened, ruined fruit. The culprit? I think it's the climate change that plays the biggest role here. Nick Petkoff grows gourmet tomatoes on his seven acre Sunblaze ranch. He knows his way around the farm. In Yolo County, for three decades, he's cultivated some of the most fertile soil in the world. That said, he's never seen anything quite like this. Never. I think this is uh, the hottest summer I've ever encountered in my life. One in four of all tomatoes on the planet is grown here in California. But the recent extreme heat has damaged a big chunk of them. Pretty much baked them all. Nick lost two thirds of his crop. So badly damaged, it's really only good for compost. Nick sells slightly scorched tomatoes at a discount. At the farmer's market in San Rafael, he sold all eight boxes within just a few hours. Some people can them, some people make sauces. As for the good stuff, Nick is known for his produce. He sells to top restaurants all around the Bay Area. One of his customers, renowned chef Lawrence Jossel of San Francisco's popular Nopa restaurant. 55, we're here to celebrate farmers. We're here to show who the heroes are, and, and it's the farmers. They take such big risks, you know, um, as is being proven now. Your whole livelihood depends on Mother Nature. At his restaurant, the chef changes his menu daily based upon what's fresh at the market. These days, he's serving up lots of tomatoes. But the chef's supply may not last very long. He, too, is concerned about climate change. I have three children. You know, I have three teenagers. Um, yeah, I'm greatly concerned for their future. We, we're seeing it every single day. As for Nick, his tomato growing season will end early. Even so, he remains optimistic. That's what farmers do. I'M NOT GIVING UP, AND WE ARE, we are GOING TO DO it THIS AGAIN NEXT YEAR, SO NO MATTER WHAT HAPPENS. ELIZABETH COOK, CBS NEWS, WINTERS, CALIFORNIA.